I think it's ludicrous that in 2018, there is no brand in this country associated with investing in the housing market. It's created more wealth for more people, for more generations than anything else on the planet. Uh, it's in demands more than anything else on the planet living in America. What we're building, we're starting with the online experience, but the plan is to create the total experience. Like, like you, you absorb content on the internet and elsewhere that whether you're a busy active investor or somebody on the large scale with the institutions who's an employee of the institution looking to make a name for himself or herself, or you're a nest egger, you know, you want to put together a portfolio of four or five, or you're an aspirational real estate junkie who hasn't even gotten started yet. And we catch you. We catch you just right one day with something that we put out there and you go to the website and you play. We're building this technology to be the equivalent of a real estate video game. And so you go online and you play and you shop and you learn. The way that you learn on our site goes way beyond videos and audio that you hear about how it's done. It's looking at actual properties and comparing them to properties in other places through all these dimensions of asset quality, including yield, but also including price appreciation history and also including migration and population and employment trends. And then you monkey around with your assumptions to see how it tweaks things and your 30 year projections. And then you throw financing on it and play around with the financing and see how that changes your cash flow and your wealth creation over time. And you get hooked and you create a fantasy portfolio. And all the while, you know, there's going to be somebody on the ground, boots on the ground to serve you. That's one of the things that we'll be announcing in January is we're reconstituting our broker network because we had one at one point and we really kind of set it aside because we were serving large institutions with portfolios and we didn't have a real need in our business model for a broker on the ground. And that's changed because now we're basically, if you're going to do real estate, you don't have boots on the ground, you're vulnerable, you're deficient. I don't want to be deficient or vulnerable. So we're reconstituting that. And so the vision of that experience online that then translates to a conversation in a meeting in a conference room with a well-dressed professional who knows all the stuff that you've been absorbing understands it to the hilt and can talk about it with you and can sit down and say things like, all right, so how old are you? 35? Cool. When do you want to retire? 65? Great. So we've got 30 years to work with now. Plenty of time. Uh, what kind of discretionary income do you have? How much do you want to put together? How many houses would you like to own when you're 65? 20? Awesome. So what is that? One every 18 months? All right, let's look at what that looks like how much wealth that creates, how much income that creates, right? Never sell any of it, unless of course you wanna buy a Corvette, then you sell one and you buy three Corvettes. <laughs> I just love it, man. So the, the, the experience is gonna go, if you're a professional experienced investor, you don't need to have that conversation. You're gonna love dealing with a broker on the ground who actually has a freaking clue what yield means. You know, there's a million realtors most of them think yield is a triangular sign that says you go next. <laughs> they don't know. They've never been taught. They don't care. The industry has never cared. And if you want to see if that's true, go to the websites. Search Google by the term real estate. You see everybody show up. Search the term real estate investing and you see them all disappear. That's how much they care. All right. So we're going for all the marbles. We think that if you have the best end-to-end -end solution and you have the right philosophy and attitude and the experience is anchored towards this idea that he or she that dies with the most America wins, um, we're just going to... I think we're going to dominate. We're going after dominating. <laughs> so there, I said it. Thanks for watching.